Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are in Medieval Dynasty. I'm going to give you a tour of my little hamlet. This is a mid-game hamlet. I am, I think my child is about seven years old and this is where I got to after about eight or nine years of gameplay. And we're going to go through the village. I'll show you where stuff is, why I set things up, and I thought the winter setting would be a great setting to show off my little village anyways before i get going let me say thank you thank you for taking your time to watch my content i appreciate it please remember to like subscribe share all that stuff really helps the channel out and i appreciate the support so first we are down here this is the waterfall okay um most people who have played the oxbow map know where the waterfall is it is south of Pist Pistovia. I am in day one of the winter in year nine. So this is how far I've gotten on this particular playthrough. Now every playthrough can be different. Every playthrough has different factors involved, but um, in essence, this is where I am. This is how I set things up. So I've got a wall around here, which is goes all the way to the river over there to the southwest, which we'll show you in a minute. So this is where people are going to come in. Now, right here we have our stable for our horses. I only have two horses currently. Um, I'm hoping that they have children soon so I can sell that. That's a revenue item there. Um, obviously, the people are going to work. It's in the morning. This is the stall. I don't have anybody manning this yet, but what's going to happen is, is ideally, you know, people come in here this way. There's the stall. And right over here, when I get the technology level, we're going to put a, um, well, an N, whatever that is, or I can't remember what it's called. So let's take a look real quickly. Uh, services, no. Production. Tavern. That's where the tavern's going to go. It's going to be facing this way so people can come in, put their horses in the stable, have a drink at the tavern, because this is the residential area, okay? Now, I tried to keep as many of the trees as I could while still having a decent housing area. This one house still needs to be insulated, but it goes all the way down here, and you've got, you know, houses just pretty much wedged in. I mean, it, it's okay. Um, there's plenty of entrances and exits over here on the on the far north side, uh, you know, which is fine. I, it works. Now, over here, we have fire and we have, you know, some gathering meeting places. I've got those sporadically all over the map. In the center of the village is the orchard, okay, which is where, obviously, all our fruit trees grow. Um, we've got some more houses over here. This is the main house. This is where I live with my wife and child. Another gather area here where people can gather up. Um, another fireplace here. We've got the woodworker here and a house here. This is where the first place that I built. When I first got this location, I built this house. And I lived here until I got everything set up the way I wanted. I could probably fit something else in here. I may at some point. But right now, this is the woodworking station. It's just how it kind of panned out for me. Um, so I'm going to cross the bridge. Now, obviously, you've got the waterfall here, which is great. That's the highlight of this particular location. Again, it's down here at this part of the map. Um, a lot of people build here. It's a really decent place to build. Um... It's got a little bit of everything for you. It does have a mine, which is huge. Uh, you know, obviously you've got some reeds right here, which is great. I've got the well set up here. Away in the corner, tucked away. I could clear these trees and put more industrial here if I wanted, but I like that aesthetic. Um, here's the, the um, what do they call it? The uh, herbalist hut. Now, this came later in the build, and I'm like, okay, where am I going to put it? I have all of my industry on this road. Well, not all of it, but most of it. So I put it here because it fits with where all of everybody comes to work. They get to cross the bridge, look at the waterfall as they come to work every day. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, over here, you've got the mine. 
you know, this is the um, extraction excavation shed. You've got the uh, smithy over here, and then there's your mine. I have not got to the uh, 7500 technology needed to build a mine yet. We are working on that diligently. Um, once we get that, we're really going to be able to take off. Um, another gather area. I thought this would be a good location for people to gather as well for like lunch or whatever. Um, and this little space was perfect between the two trees right on the river. You know, nice. Obviously, you've got a wood wor workshop here. You know, a lot of woodworking goes on there. Storage. It's our kitchen. Over here, we've got our seamstress, our sewing hut. This is where my wife happens to work. Here's another market stall. I need to get some people to to get into these market stalls. It's my next um, task, actually. Uh, and this is, you know, another entrance here where, you know, the industrial entrance is what I call it. Food, food storage, another storage here. You know, people can come in here come to the market stall i don't know it I, I i mean obviously the game isn't that technologically advanced where they actually have people or caravans coming from other towns to buy and sell goods but you know i, I set it up that way as if it did why not right um tucked in behind here you've got the hunter the um the hunting lodge i i was gonna put this on it on its own in its own little area away away from everything but i decided to keep everything tucked in here abutting this river and obviously we've got the fencing that goes up to the river and up there you've got a little bit of ruins you can't use ruins in the oxbow map unfortunately you can't build on it so then we come to our farming area now this is again we're we're right back towards the orchard and i have all of my animals around the the barn and then over here behind those walls are the fields where we grow our crops and i'll show you that later but obviously here's the pigsty okay now over here in this little area i don't know if it's going to fit but it's going to be the apothery or apiary i think that's how it's pronounced and what that is that's the bees the apiary okay we're almost there and when that gets there we're going to you know, put that, the apiary there, because eventually we'll have honey, we've got plenty of fruit to, to make wine, and we're going to make, uh, and I've got a hops, little hops garden as well. We're going to make beer and wine and sell that. So over here, you've got your goats and sheep. They get their own little pen. Um, great for milk. Uh, you know, you can fit quite a few in here, actually. And behind here is going to be chickens. I don't think you really need more than that. If you really, if you really want the milk, you can get cows. They, I just don't, I don't have the space for them. So I, I, I determined that there was going to be about four animal plots, and I knew that the chicken coop was pretty small. Pig sty is great because that's where I get all my fertilizer. The chickens, you know, feathers and eggs, which are great. But the goats were in the in the sheep. I'm like, okay, I, I need the wool and I need the milk. So it was a no-brainer. Um, cows are great because they give plenty of milk. But, you know, the wool that you get from the sheep, etc., is just really great for your, for, for sowing, right? Because you need that resource. I mean, you can go out and hunt it up, but... You know, I just, I thought it was easier and I wanted the, the farm animals anyway. So they obviously abut the, um, the orchard, which is, you know, the center of the village, which is pretty cool the way I like it. So here we've got our fields. Now, I, the thing about this particular area is, is that the fields are not perfect, right? They're not going to be directly in a straight line all you know, the same size, etc. You can do that if you want. Um, I would recommend that if you choose this area on the map, that you'd set up your fields first in the direction that you want them to go. You can get them leveled all the same size and symmetrical. I just wanted them abutting this river, but you can see I've got a you know a couple of small fields, some average size fields. I've got you know four main fields here that I use that I try to rotate crops in, and then I've got a 
you know, couples. I've got one small one that I just use for, you know, the overage. And then obviously there's two orchards. This is the main orchard in the middle of the village. And this is where I've got this little orchard over here is where I've got the hops plants growing, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so yeah, this goes down towards the water and you've got a little walkway here. This road goes all the way around into the village on that side. And over here, it just ends at the water. Um, I like the aesthetic this way. It's, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's just the way that I, I figured I started building the buildings first, right? I started doing farming later um, because I just used the meat from hunting to get my village going, get the people in there. Um, we got another storage here because I, I just have a lot. <laughs> All right, I've got 5,400. I'm almost full on storage too. I have to start selling stuff, which is fine, but I like to get two or three storages for every good size village. I'll probably have to buy more, build more eventually. And here are the, the uh, hot plants, right? I've only got four of them, but that's enough. The, you'll, they'll accumulate over time. Now, what I do have is room to expand. I can go this way. I can go to the north. I've got plenty of room up here. I can build more houses, more farming. So this little location is actually really, really good. There's a lot that you can do down here aesthetically. All right. And it's got the mine, which is a highlight. That's why a lot of people build down here. And this is the village not even decorated yet, really. I, I haven't done any lanterns. I haven't done much. I've got a few outhouses built out. But I haven't done the major decorating with the lanterns and all of that stuff yet. Um, this is mid-game for me. So I'm still in the, in the phase of everybody's kids are really young. I'll show you the population right now. Um, as you can see, most of my workers are young. And the kids you know, three, four, six, they're, they're all young. There's no teenagers or apprentices yet. So the population is 39. It's a settlement stage, um, 29 workers, 37 buildings. This is mid game is what I would call this. And again, this area down here by the waterfall is a very popular area. Now, this is just how I did it. It doesn't mean that you have to do it this way. And it doesn't mean that this is the best way to do it. Um, it just kind of evolved for me, you know, like probably like a lot of medieval little towns did. You know, you you found a good location. You built your first house over there and I built a wood shop right away so I could, you know, get more logs to build more stuff. And then then I focused on the mine area, you know, and I, I realized that, you know, OK, I, I wanted to do different areas of I wanted to do sections. I wanted to do a farming section. I want to do a housing section, an industrial section. And then, you know, the commercial section will be up here with the tavern. But everyone's different. You can have your fields going directly north-south in this area. Okay, which is how you want to do it normally. And I'll show you why in a minute. Um, let's get farming and let's just do it. So you see what will happen is... If I could get the mouse to work there we go it the 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 plots in medieval dynasty run north south right so or west east right that's when they line up in a straight line so if you're facing completely north you're going to get good straight lines now sometimes they come in at an angle as well that's why like you're not going to have just straight lines here and it's not going to be just a straight plot all the way down because you're going to have other building and rocks and trees and stuff in the way. I don't know if that really makes sense aesthetically. If you play Medieval Dynasty, you're going to understand what I'm talking about in terms of setting up your farming. Um, some of us that are really, you know, I don't know what the right word is for this, but they're we get really like hung up on, you know, I don't know if it's attention deficit disorder or what it is, but you know, like if something's off just a little bit, I've learned to let that part go in my gaming journey and just kind of build, you know, what I think fits and what I think looks good. And, you know, this is just a, a my little town. It's not perfect, 
Um, there's still a lot of work to do, but for mid-game, I think I'm doing pretty good. And I thought I would just show it to you, see what you thought. I thought the winter setting with the snowstorm is the perfect time to show off my little town um, at the waterfall. Everyone who plays Medieval Dynasty, this is one of the best parts of it, is you get to build what you want, how you think it should be laid out. And there's some very, very creative people out there. Uh, I'm by no means, I'm an analyst by training. That's my job. Um, I'm not the an art type of person. I can't look at a landscape and in my head envision this, this beauty. What I have to do is put something down, see it and say, okay, what what else is going to look good in relation to that and where will it will should it go that's the big difference but medieval dynasty is a great little game there's a lot of fun quests which you'll see a couple of those pop up on my channel from time to time um i like this game i think it's a, one of those like little little gems of a game where you can just come chill out there's no pvp there's no you know um, Discord servers where you're chatting with people all the time. It's just one of those fun little games you can play for like an hour or two and just uh, melt away and get into like the building and developing your village. You know, if that's your type of thing, you'll definitely love this game. If you like the action pack like PvP or Daisy or like um, Elder Scrolls Online or you like the MMO where there's a bunch of people in chat talking, etc., this game is definitely not for you. It's a good single player RPG, it's very chill. Anyways, that's my village build. I hope you liked it. If you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you again soon.